got. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So if you've been following my channel, then you know that I recently changed the name of my channel to A Love Letter to Asia. And the reason for the name change was basically just to diversify my channel. Because while makeup is a very big part of my life, there are a lot of other aspects of my life that I want to share with you guys. And I had so many meaningful experiences, in, especially in the previous year, that I want to bring to this channel. So if you haven't seen the video of me talking about that, I'll leave a link somewhere up here for you guys to go check that out. So today's video is catered to all my fashionistas with a 9 to 5. So in this video, I will be showing you guys 5 different outfit choices that are perfect for the office a corporate setting or any type of business casual affair. So as many of you know I am a makeup artist as well as a engineering student. So I do have a part-time office job while I'm in school and of course once I you know graduate I'll most likely still be in an office setting. So I just thought that this would be a great time for me to show you guys you know how I keep it you know cute but corporate in the office. So I thought this video would be helpful as more of us millennials and Gen Z kids get out into the workforce because it's very important to me that I'm able to look polished and professional in the office as well as still maintain my own personal style but it's also very important that we don't break the bank especially for kids that are you know doing internships or co-ops where you're not full-time yet so you really don't have time to you know drop a bag on a full wardrobe but you just need a few key pieces to help you out so I'm gonna be showing you guys five different outfit styles as well as some accessories and shoes and things of that nature that give me that polished and expensive look without the expensive part but before we get started make sure that you like this video and that you're subscribed to my channel also make sure you hit that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I post especially if you like this type of content because I will be bringing you guys more videos like this so with all of that said I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the video so before we get into the outfits I just want to start off by showing you guys some inexpensive accessories that I wear and where I got them from because accessories have a way of really pulling your outfit together without breaking the bank. So the first accessory that I want to mention are these little gold bracelets. Um, it came in a pack of three. I got these at and I got these at Burke's Outlet and they were either $6.99 or $7.99. And I like to just throw these on in the morning. And it's just a way of adding that extra detail to your outfit. So you look put together, but you didn't spend a whole bunch of time or a whole lot of money to achieve that polished look. And the next accessory that I want to mention is also a bracelet. It's these little beaded bracelets. And they came in a pack of five. I also got these from Burks, and they were either $6.99 or $7.99, somewhere in that range. Again, just a nice little accessory to add to your outfit so you look put together without breaking the bank. Another reason why I prefer these bracelets to, you know, the gold ones that I mentioned earlier, because you don't run the chance of these tarnishing. So like those other bracelets, I might have to um, trade those out after a certain amount of time. I can wear these forever because there's no chance of them tarnishing. So it's a really great investment. And again, just something that you can add to several different outfits that add a nice little pop of color and detail. Okay, so the next accessory that I'm going to talk about are watches. Um, so I have a couple different watches here. Let me see if you can see this one. This beautiful brown and I think rose gold watch. You're beautiful, yeah. <laughs> You're I'm crying. And then this nice forest green watch and these are both from Charming Charlie. Oh, zoom back in. And both of these and both of these watches are from Charming Charlie's. Watches are a great accent piece for any type of professional look. Um, because of course, you know, the old saying is that if you wear a watch, then you care about time management. Um, even though everybody has an iPhone now to really check their time, I think the watches are still a timeless, you know, piece that you can add to any... Watches are still... Timeless piece. <laughs> that really is funny. <laughs> I'm crying. Yeah, so I think that both of these watches, um, were under $20. Every, every watch at Charming Charlie's that I've seen has been around $25, $20. So again, a great accessory piece without breaking the bank. And I have one more watch. This is a nice, like a, I don't know, like a seafoam green or like a light teal watch. And this watch is actually from Walmart. Walmart has several quality watches. So if you don't feel like spending, you know, 20 to 25 dollars on a watch, an even more affordable option would be Walmart. They have watches for around $7.99. I think around the $7 to $10 range. I think this watch is about $8. So that's another great option. Okay, so the last thing that I want to mention as far as accessories will be earrings. So the first pair I want to mention are these nice little teardrop hoops. I got these from Burke's Outlet as well, and I think that they were um, around the $6.99 or they might have been anywhere from like $4.99 to $6.99. So I love these because I am a hoop girl. I love hoop earrings, but they're not always the most professional look. So I like these because they give me that polished professional look, but they're also still, you know, the desired hoop look that I'm looking for. You know, a little bit of dingle dangle. I don't know. No. <laughs> Duck Dimmadaw. Of the 
skin cells doing in the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. I really might put that in the video. Is that okay? I don't get it. But yeah, so I love these. Again, super affordable and super cute. And here is the next pair of earrings that I want to mention. And these are <laughs> ah, $4.99. You see that? $4.99. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, I love these because they have, you know, this little bit of texture right here with like the bamboo part. And then it goes into the gold hoop. So again, very professional, but you know, cute. Gives you that own personal style and flavor, you know, a little bit of a little sprinkle of flavor. Okay, period. But yeah, again, very cute, very professional, but also, you know, gives it your own little personal touch. And the last pair of earrings that I want to mention today are just these little simple, um what is it rhinestone studs so i got these from my local beauty supply store and i think they were around like 2 dollars i know you guys might not think beauty supply store when you think of business casual but like i said these earrings are great for every day and 2 dollars like you can't beat that okay so moving on from accessories next i just want to mention a few um purses that i have that i think are super cute for the office because purses again are another another one of those key items that can really you know make or break your outfit just a cute little way to tie everything in and purses can also be super expensive so i just want to show you guys some cute inexpensive bags that i have that really help me tie together a lot of my outfits okay so the first bag that i want to mention is this purse right here so it's beige with light brown and gold accent pieces um, I got this also at Charming Charlie's. Again, I think all other purses are around the $40 mark. So anywhere from, you know, $20 to $40. Again, a very inexpensive but cute and professional bag that you can take every day. And believe it or not, people really are looking at the purses that you wear, the shoes that you wear, and things like that. So this is another great way to look expensive without being expensive. The next bag that I want to mention is this purse right here. And it's kind of got a briefcase slash laptop bag look. Um, it's a funny story because I actually thought this was a briefcase. I ordered this off of Amazon. And if you are an Amazon Primer like me, you know that you got to look at the dimensions. Because sometimes things will look a lot bigger than they actually will show up at your door. Um, so yeah, I thought this was a briefcase. And then I got the box and I looked at it and I was like, Yeah. So it's funny because I call myself, you know, investing into my, you know, my career, but I ended up just buying more purses and I have enough purses, but it's okay. But yeah, so I got this from Amazon. So of course it got here super quick. Um, and I'm not sure about the price of this one. I think it was, but I know myself and I know that it's, it wasn't anywhere over $30. So it's somewhere in that $20, $30 range, but I'll put it in my description box down below. Again, it's good to have, you know, a black purse that goes with everything, but it's also got that chic, you know, professional briefcase look to it. Another great item just to have in your closet. Okay, now I will be moving on to shoes. And let me tell you, shoes are super, and I mean super important. You do not want to be walking in the office with no raggedy shoes. So, <laughs> as we all know, shoes can get very expensive, especially heels. You can range from anywhere from... $30 all the way up to like 500 so we're gonna try to keep it in the $30 range I have six different pairs of shoes that I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna tell you you know all the details about where I got them the cost everything like that okay okay so the first type of shoe that I'm going to mention is a ballet flat these are your best friends every girl needs a ballet flat professional shoes are really only flats and heels so ballet flats are a huge staple item that are they're cute but they're also comfortable even if i don't wear plan on wearing my flats all day i will wear these out the house and i'll just throw my heels in my bag so i'll make it up to my desk in these babies for me personally i feel like i have a maximum amount of hours that i can stay in heels so i don't want to start that time from me leaving my house i want to start it once i'm in the office my office area is right Right next to like a little shopping center so if you are the type that you want to walk on your lunch break or you know walk down a couple of blocks to go get something to eat these are also great for that purpose so this first pair of ballet flats they have more of a rounded toe um in my personal opinion this is just me i feel like these are a little bit less professional looking um they're cute but they're more of a i don't know they're 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 cute like <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. So they're acceptable, but I feel like a pointy toe 
is more of a you know a cutthroat you know like future ceo look you know so and these also just are slip on so that's why i really like these like if i want to walk somewhere or just to run out of my house these are the shoes that i'm putting on these are the flats that i actually wear if i'm planning on wearing flats that day so they have a pointy toe which i think is a more like a professional and attractive look um but that's just me personally and they also have a what is this what is this a clamp not a clamp hook buckle yeah <laughs> thank you and they also have a little buckle right here and again that's just one of those small things that it just looks more put together like this just looks like a more professional flat in my opinion so next i'm going to show you guys my business heel collection um the first pair that i'm going to start off with are these bad boys Ooh, a little dusty so these bad boys right here so i'm going to show you the heel okay so these are my lucky heels so these are the heels that i wore to my interview when i got my co-op position and these are more on you can see they're a little bit you know a little tight you know you see the ends a little tight but um yeah so this is more of a professional heel like if you are doing anything where it's not business casual it's strictly business you want to make sure that you have a closed toed shoe um so yeah so these are perfect for interviews or more of a business setting that's why i have these heels i really don't wear these day to day at my job these are really if i want to look if i'm wearing a skirt suit or something that's more professional so the next pair of heels that i want to mention is this black pair right here so let me turn it to the side and show you guys the heel so this is a higher heel this is like a three to four inch heel um i love these heels for me personally i love heels but i'm not the type where i can wear a skinny heel like it's just not enough support for me um so i like the chunky heel style of these because they're very durable i can wear them all day long but they also have the open toe right here that you know still very professional but it's a little bit more of a chic look so these are really my everyday heels they're professional but you know they're still cute so this is a less formal type of shoe i got these at target and they were $29.99 so super affordable and they have so many different colors i'm going to show you guys in a second that i have this shoe in several colors um so yeah just a great staple item that every girl needs in her closet so the next heel that i'm going to show you guys is the exact same model of the last shoes that i showed you so these are also from target and they were $29.99 but this is just the tan version um so yeah i got these because you always want to make sure that you have your black heel but the next color that i would go with would be a nice tan if you have that you really don't need any other shoe color like if you have tan and black you really should have something to match every outfit that you wear so the last pair of heels that i'm going to mention are also from target and i think that they were also $29.99 um, this is the same type of shoe of the last two shoes that I showed you, but it's with a shorter heel. So if you don't do well with tall heels, this is another option for you. And um, I got these in a red. This is another one of those colors that will match a lot of items like, you know, blacks, whites, grays. So I really like these shoes. Again, they have the shorter heel, so I can wear these every day. So yeah, these just add a nice little pop of color and some personality to your outfits. Okay, so now I've officially showed you guys all of the accessory items that I wanted to show you, and now I will be moving on to outfits. Okay guys, so for the first outfit that I'll be showing you today, I have paired a sleeveless black dress with this white cover-up. Um, I'm not sure if you would call this a cardigan or a blazer or what, so we're just going to go with cover-up. And I finished off the look with those open-toed black heels that I mentioned earlier. This is probably the dressiest outfit that I'll be showing you guys today. I kind of lined up the outfits from dressiest to most casual. Um, but I love this outfit because it's really one of those, you know, future CEO choices. It's very polished and professional, but still extremely attractive for, um, an office look. I got this dress from Belks and I, it was around $40, I believe, while I got this cover-up from Burke's Outlet. And y'all, this cover-up was $20. Can y'all believe that? A huge deal, especially for such a nice piece that you can pair with so many different things. It's made of a light material, so it's perfect to wear during the summer, but it also has longer sleeves, so you can definitely pair it with a nice sweater during the fall or winter i also love the quilted material and the versatility like you can wear the lapels down or fanned out whichever you prefer just an overall beautiful and classic piece and for 20 dollars, that's a huge deal 
For this next outfit, I'm wearing this vintage collared blouse with a high-waisted black skirt. I love this outfit because I feel like it's so incredibly unique and tailored to my own personal style. It's so incredibly important to find ways to dress professionally while still dressing how you want because another huge part of professionalism is confidence and you can't be confident with, you know, being stuffed into a blazer that you really don't like. And another reason why I really love this outfit is because I found it while thrifting. So this blouse and skirt were both under $5. I know another great steal so please don't be you know afraid to get your office clothes from the thrift store i'm definitely not just make sure that you check for holes and rips and other things of that nature but um again it's about how you wear the clothes and how you accessorize and the confidence that you demonstrate while in them so thrift stores and discounted outlet stores are great places to track down a few key pieces Okay, so in this next outfit, I'm wearing a patterned tunic top since she had the waist with a black belt, and I paired it with a pair of pink dress pants. I chose to show you guys this outfit for several different reasons. First off, the belt. If you're on the curvier side like me, then belts are your new best friend, because long tops and even sometimes dresses can tend to make us look boxy if we don't add something to accentuate our waist. So I feel like every girl, especially curvy girl, should have, you know, a nice belt or a couple of belts in their wardrobe. Also, I wanted to show you guys this outfit because of the bright pink pants. I know sometimes people will shy away from color in the office, but I wanted to show you guys that you can achieve that type of look um, in a very chic way. Also, these pants are Curvy Girl approved because they have an elastic band rather than your normal button and zipper construction. And while I feel like those pants can sometimes make me look stuffed into them, I feel like these really smooth out my curves rather than enhancing any unwanted ones. And I got this top from Shein.com and it was around $12. The belt is from Maurice's and it was $10, while these pants are from my beloved Burks outlet and they were $16. Okay, next I'm wearing a black sleeveless top tucked into some black dress pants. Again, tucking in a top is another way that I like to accentuate my waist. Um, you can wear this outfit alone if you want, but I'll be pairing mine with a blazer. Again, blazers are one of those key pieces that go with a ton of outfits and will really just give you that polished look. I got this top from H&M and it was $17. The pants are from Burks and were $16, and this blazer was another one of my thrifting finds and was $4. Yes, I said $4, so do not sleep on thrifting. So typically during the summer months, I will wear this blazer open um, because even though it's hot outside, usually inside, you know, it's pretty cool um, in most office spaces. But you can also wear this blazer closed. This is typically how I would wear it during like the winter months. And this blazer really, I really like this blazer because it really smooths you out in the front and just gives you that really nice and chic look. Again, this is just another one of those versatile pieces that you can wear during any season and just a great find. Okay, now I'm wearing a white blouse with this medium length green skirt. My favorite color is green, so I was super excited to find this piece at such an affordable price. It was $13 while the top was 12. This is one of those, you know, versatile tops that goes with absolutely everything. And again, this skirt is yet another example of adding color and your own personal style to an outfit. Okay guys, so this is what I would consider to be the most casual of all the outfits that I've shown you today. Um, I really wanted to highlight this outfit again because it's one of those outfits that really displays all these different beautiful colors, but it's done in a, you know, classy and, you know, corporate appropriate way. Okay, so these are palazzo pants, which are a slinkier material, which is why I've chosen to wear my shirt out because I just would not be comfortable wearing these pants untucked. And again, these are a less formal type of pant, so I would probably wear these only on a Friday in my office space. You'd have to use your own judgment and about, you know, the feel of your office. But I know that we wear jeans on Friday, so I think that I could definitely get away with these. And again, I love these pants because they have that elastic band. So, you know, again, they really just suck you in and are super cute. So I promise you guys five outfit choices. So this is the sixth one because I know some of you guys, depending on your office space, may not feel comfortable wearing this. So if you do have an office where sometimes you have casual Fridays or something like that, this is what this outfit would be perfect for. But yeah, that is really all that I have for this video today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss any of my other posts. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.